What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, give me a bless with another video of Grand Blue, and this is going to be a build video of Fairy. So, Fairy is a very funny character, not difficult at all. Before I get into the build, just for people who probably don't know what she does and how she plays, I will show how she plays the best way to play it, which is actually not difficult. So, pretty much her, she has pets that pretty much just help out along with the fight they could do damage and support you d definitely gonna want these pets out for the extra damage obviously because they actually could do a little bit of decent stuff and like i said support so the way to get the pets out is pretty much is combo finishers so you do stuff something like this now when you do this with attack all you gotta do is literally just hold that and just uh, I'm just getting started. Well, link, yeah, link attack gives you pets as well. But, I was saying, uh, when you hold square, you'll get another pet. Let's now, let me use all the pets, but I'll just press the triangle. That would deal a lot of damage, but it would take up all the pets that was on the field. Pretty much, when you do it, before you want to do a link attack, you want to try to, you know, all the pets that you have on the field, you want to try to use the onslaught, or your triangle button, or uh your Y if you're on Xbox or something like that or whatever but it is you want to ever use onslaught just so you could maximize your damage best as possible so yeah to get pets you do a combo finisher you could do this but this doesn't provide much as damage a, a lot of stuff is only like 32k and yeah you pet and there's another way yeah that's pretty much just like the best way to get pet i don't think there's another way to get pet if i'm gonna be honest yeah, just do you just doing that. And yeah, that's pretty much how you get the uh, pets out. Now her skills, the skills that I'm using currently. Let me show you all the skills. So she could uh, grant an attack, crit rate, and submarine damage, and even eventually based on how many pets are in the field. All the, all these buffs are good. You mainly could you could use the crit rate buff definitely. But the most important probably would be the submarine damage and the invincibility. This, this is just for you to get your pets out quickly and also like build a amount of stun damage. So probably when you do this, you're going to be able to do a link attack. So you're going to do this, try and go to do link attack. This is another way you could just get your pets out. Just set this up range and just continue to assault thing. What I do personally, I just do that to get the pets out, then dodge the cancel out of it, like so. Let me show you. Do that, boom, and the pets out. And instead of me doing a whole animation, I'm free to do whatever I want, and I could do. Well, yeah, pretty much I could do whatever I want. Yeah, like I said, whatever I want. Uh, back to what I was the thing. She could cast slow. This is not the worst thing. Just the problem is slow is, eh, on and off and. It really doesn't last that long, if I could be honest. She could also, the pets could also grant more defense and HP and attack on the battlefield. Another way to put out pets. And yeah, this this time it just pretty much evades. It pretty much an evasion. This allows you to have super armor, which is not the worst thing to have, but you know, it could definitely work. 100% worse. Super armor is not the worst thing. And that's that would be all her skills. Now back to the pretty much like the combos. So pretty much, yeah, like I said, that is going to be a, a, your main thing is bringing your pets out. Now once you bring your pets out, you are going to want to do this loop or this tech or whatever you want to call it. It will be, it's pretty, it's pretty easy too. All you generally have to do is this. Jump. As soon as you jump, press square and press triangle to do the landing attack and just rinse and repeat. Now, this is not the best place to test it, if I can be honest, because the way this enemy is, it will just like, yeah, it won't come follow me sometimes. And you it'll just, yeah, it'll just fall anywhere. But, but trust me, that does a lot of damage, as you see. Yeah, it, yeah, 90, about 95k, 97k when the damage cap. Now, if I bring all the pets out. Yeah, we got damage cap. So this is pretty much all you do while you have the pets up. While just 
try to dodge, etc., etc. But this is all you have to do. And you don't gotta even worry about dodging because you can attack this. Boom, invincibility. Link attack, you can use all the pets. And then boom, yeah. Link attack. And yeah, yeah, that's pretty much how you play fairy, if I could be honest. It's nothing difficult. It's not really, it's actually not difficult at all, if I could be honest. Bring all your pets out by using your skills or combo finishers. And yeah, just do the tech I just showed you, or the loop, the jump attack loop. And yeah, now the skills I'm using is going to be... I have this just in case I need to get defense removed and bring out, uh, just bring out at least a pet. But the main reason you'll probably use this is just to get the defense removed, if I could be honest. Even though you're hitting damage card, there'll be bosses that has to have that defense up. So lowering their defense about to 50% would definitely help out the team, not only you, but the team a lot. This for invincibility and the crit rate and the supplementary damage. If you don't have a lot, if you're like me, who's kind of struggling on supplementary damage scissors. This is 100% good. Even then, I still suggest this just because of the fact that as invincibility. This is, uh, I suggest this to bring all your pets out. And then it'll bring a, a, a lot of stun damage too. And this is just another way to bring out all your pets. Now, the build. Now, this is not my complete build. The only thing I'm missing is pretty much, well, supplementary damage fives. But this build could 100% work. We got the Phantasm Awakening for Fairy, which this does pretty much. This raises the damage cap by 15% per active enemy, or I say enemy, uh, pet, and even lowers the skill cooldown. So more, uh, yeah, more spamming. And the pets will actually deal do more damage. Now, if you don't want the awakening, you could just get harmony plus something, whatever you want. But the awakening is not bad for the wild soul and stuff like that. But I still suggest, still suggest this because another way to get defense down, attack down, and yeah, just support damage and everything. Crit rate with stamina. We got a tyranny with cooldown. Another crit rate with nimble onslaught. Damage with potion hoarder. Damage with Aegis. Damage with cavalry drain. Crit cooldown. Of course, we're going to have war elemental. These are the simple main damage that I'm only able to use right now. So it's not a lot. It's 100% not a lot at all. But it, it, it helps. And just to fill that other slot that of the missing supplementary damage, we put on improved dodge with nibble on slot even more. And the weapon, of course, I'm using the terminus weapon. And for her masteries, I haven't went crazy in her masteries, but it 100% worked. We got the steel damage cap up and normal attack, attack damage cap up. If you want, you can replace it with crit rate for uh your skill da with skill damage etc etc or you can try to get all three and yeah those are the main things you're gonna be looking for of course and oh e another way to even get the pets so let me use all the pets your fda or your skybound art even gives all your pets if i'm not mistaken yep it does and yeah, but another way. So when before you use your alt, you, you could do that, then cast your alt. And yeah, pretty much free way to get alt. And the pest is really not doing bad damage either. That's a lot of 16k. Especially if you have a supplementary damage at max. Yeah, that could dish out a lot of damage while you're playing. I don't even think the ghost take damage for if I could be honest. I'm not hundred percent sure on that fucking but yeah, oh defense, so now we do more damage. Yeah, just they're they're very great. Especially for how much they hit and how continuously they're hitting. Yeah, they're great. Even the the lower the chance, it's just they're great. But enough of that. Let's go against the boss. So we're gonna and yeah, the, you're gonna see how good fairy journey is.
Strong attacks. <laughs> it was a pleasure. Oh my fucking god, that's annoying. You should definitely do an ultimate, but they're not doing it. And I miss mine, because this nigga would have jump away. Alright, now. Right. 
That came so fast. Take care of 